Hi, my name's Nathan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and upload your layout project to Trimble Connect for use in FieldLink MR. Let's get started. To begin, it's important to know that FieldLink MR always requires at least two files. Number one being a point file, in this case, a TFLX, which is the upgraded version of the TFL format, and also at least one model or background file. These files can be 2D or 3D, it can be DWGs, TRBs, IFCs, and more. For a full list of supported formats, check the link in the description below. The second most important thing to note is that FieldLink MR requires your point file to have a designated control points, like this one with the black triangle. This can be done in FieldLink by going to Create, Point Manager, selecting your point, and hitting the input form and checking control point. We'll show this again in a second. Now, there are three different ways that you can create a TFLX project in FieldLink version 6.3 or later. First, you can simply create a brand new project and point file from scratch. Secondly, you can convert an existing TFL file that you might already have. Or finally, you can import an existing CSV or TXT. To create a brand new project from scratch, let's go to more, projects, manage, and create. Here, we can title our project whatever we'd like. For example, I'm going to call this project FieldLink MR TFLX Creation. This is going to bring up the new project management structure in FieldLink, where we can see the title of our project up here at the top. And we can also see several subfolders. We can see a folder for our point files. We can see one for our scan jobs, as well as a place for our models. To create a new point file, simply click the plus button over here. Now, we can title this point file whatever we'd like. So for example, we'll call this one point file one. And finally, press open. With our TFLX project successfully created, we can perform our typical workflow of authoring data by using the create tool. Here, I'll create a few points that I'll use in the field for my setup. With those points created, I'm going to go to Create and then Point Manager and select the points that I want to update so I can make them into control points. I'll click the input form and check off the control point option. So like we mentioned before, this is really critical to make sure that our control points are designed properly in our TFLX file. Now, I'll repeat that process for each of my control points like so. To convert an existing TFL to TFLX, we'll start again by going to More, Projects, and then hitting Convert. From here, we'll navigate through our device in order to find where we've saved that TFL file. In this case, I'll go to my Downloads and into this folder where I can now see that TFL file. Once it's selected, I just hit the Convert button. In this case, I've already converted this once, so I'm just going to hit Overwrite in this example. And now my TFL is successfully converted to TFLX project. Finally, to import an existing CSV or TXT, navigate to more projects, import. And again, we're going to navigate through our device in order to find the file that we want to import. In this case, I've got a CSV that I'd like to select. Here I can see that I can include layers from that CSV, I can update different information, and then just hit the import button to import those points. Now, if I go to the map, I can see that those points have been successfully imported and all of that information has come with it. If I wanted to import a model or a DWG or something, for example, I go through the same process, except this time I'll pick this TRB. And now I can see that has been successfully imported as well. Finally, to export this project to Trimble Connect, we'll navigate to more and then click Trimble Connect. Here we'll sign in, which will bring up a web browser for us to sign into Trimble Connect through. Just enter your Trimble ID information here. And once you've signed in, you can close this browser. Back in FieldLink, 
we'll navigate back to more projects and manage. And here, we'll choose to save as. Here we can see our project information and make any edits necessary before changing the save destination from local to Trimble Connect. If you happen to use multiple servers, you can further define which server you'd like to save to. Finally, press save to upload your project to Trimble Connect where you can access it anywhere with FieldLink MR. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.